If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it. Are you looking for Rebel Clash codes? They are already available on Poton Store, as you can see, and you can use Tableman code for 5% off or for any purchase of all the other code cards they have. For the European players, Millipods Gaming has everything you need from collectibles to all the new Pokemon Sword and Shield cards and Rebel Clashes now in stock. Make sure you use Tableman code for 5% off your final purchase. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to TCG Worlds. I am going to type in a code in the chat, so be aware of that in 3, 2, 1. Because I did lose the last game, there's the code given away. Thank you so much to everyone who's tuning in today. And we are now going to be playing with my personal favorite deck of um, the format right now, which is Dragapult with Roxy. Why not for Roxy Triple Ds? Because Roxy has a requirement to draw cards. Yeah, whereas, hey, congrats, Repentage. Congrats on getting the code. Um, Roxy has a requirement, right, of having cards previously in your hand in order to be played. Whereas Greens, Roxy, and Research do not have that requirement. And the idea is not to use Roxy every single turn. It's just sometimes you use it to get those last few damage counters. Yeah, so. Uh, Max Phantom, 130 and 5 damage counters on the bench, goes really nicely with the Roxy. We have Shred dealing 60 damage, we have a Humongous 320 HP, our Dragapult with 210 with Bite and Jet Assault, and we have our Weezings with the Blow Away Bomb ability, where if this card is... Where, when you discard this Pokemon with the effect of Roxy, you will put one damage counter on each of your opponent's Pokemon. So there's the Roxy, you get to draw up to 6 cards. We have Greens, we have Boss Orders, we have Marnie, we have Research, we have Wayne and T Hammer, we have a single shrine, which could be a Terex Well as well. Maybe the Terex Well is a little more impactful. We have a bunch of energy, we have spinner, we have healing with the mixed herbs, which I think is pretty key in the mirror matches. And we have stamps, of course, we have gears, we have treasures, we have incense to search for this and this. So let's jump into the game and see. Oh nice H2WM, congrats on getting that other code. Alright. And Victor, yeah, I okay, so my issue is I really like full arts, right? However, there's only one art of the VMAXs, and it's like it's not a full art, full art, but it's also not a regular art, it's like somewhere in between. So playing with full art of the V and the art of the VMAX feels awkward. But the regular versus I think that's that's why I'm going with the with that. Yeah. That's why I'm going with that. Okay, so we lose the coin flip. Not the biggest of deals. Uh, we also mulligan. I also, I, I for some reason, I keep confusing the VMAX with the V. Yeah, Tornado Boy, thanks so much for hanging out. Thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, not the best start. I mean, we got Dragapult VMAX turn two, guaranteed. But we also gave a bunch of mulligans out. And it's the mirror match! <laughs> Great! Do I play full arts in real life? Sometimes I do. I've been playing less though. I've totally been playing less full arts um, lately. And I don't intend to buy full arts of the V Pokemon anymore, or at all. Um, but I did like buying full arts of the GXs. So I guess it depends, you know? Mirror indeed. Wait, why? What the heck? My opponent chose to attach two energies to the Giratina? Rather than attach... Oh, he just gets rewarded with a core energy. <laughs> Never mind. Giratina E-Switch? Uh, I mean, maybe. Same as Rayquaza E-Switch, right? Except it's not a GX. Um, oh, but you can scoop up net this guy. You can scoop on it. Okay, so I guess I'm playing the boss's order as the support turf return, and I'm getting all my energies out. Okay, so 
I don't mind if my opponent goes for a Marnie, honestly. I'm gonna grab the Dragapult, but I'm not gonna bench it, because if my opponent does get the turn to Dragapult VMAX, then... Um, then... Oh, this only has to retreat? What the heck? Oh, so I should have promoted the Dene. Oh my god. I was sure... <sighs> How many energies does my opponent run to just, like... At decide to attach to and not guarantee the attachment on that. Like, that's that's insane to me. That is actually insane to me. Never punished though. Never punished unless he whiffs energy here. But yeah, you would assume he has energy switch. Wait. Okay, so he's playing that for the mirror match too, to scoop it up. Just finds the other horror. What the heck? It's like, <sighs> anyways, it really frustrates me to see my opponents just draw absolutely perfectly the knots, whereas I'm just sitting here with a dead hand. <laughs> it is very frustrating. Oh well, because it happens more often than not. That's the issue. <laughs> it happens more against me than it does for me. All right. So my top deck is... <laughs> my top deck is a fantastic, fantastic Dragapult V. Right. So Max Phantom. We're not dead yet. We will be dead after the next turn though. Let's target down the energy, I guess. Yeah, we're super dead. We are super, super dead. Open is never punished, yeah. Never ever punished. Never ever punished. Did he? Oh my god. <laughs> to top it off? Tetra's armor common online. Are you looking at my opponent drawing like <laughs> what the heck? What? <laughs> what the heck? The worst part is I'm not dead yet. Like, that's the, the best part about this, is I'm not dead yet. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Copy this list, right? Four bombs, scoop up nets, incense, quick pulse, research, Malolana. Dang <laughs> it. See, that's the thing, you know, Ray Paris. Like, for someone who doesn't draw well, the other person does draw well, so it evens out, I guess. I don't know. I really don't know, but this is just insane. <laughs> yeah, Gartana Gratina is cool to remove horrors, to remove rainbows, auroras. It is a pretty cool list, you know? My list is cool too, I swear. <laughs> oh my god. We're gonna have to deal with confusion. <laughs> okay. Yes! I was sure, I was 100% sure I was gonna flip triple teams all of that. Okay, so we're not out of it. Yeah. We are actually, surprisingly, not out of it. I'm gonna pinch that guy because I might want to retreat at some point. 
Okay. We are still in this. I am I was one boss disorders away from winning this match. If I just KO this guy so I he has no margin for error. I have mixed her, so yeah, let's do it. Why not? Why not? Probably should have put them there actually. There's no big deal though. Like now his attacker is a Giratina. I can handle a Giratina. I can certainly handle a Giratina. Just don't reset stab me into a dead hand, please. Don't reset stab me into a dead hand. Please, 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 please. Yeah, I I should have just put three damage counters here. Not <laughs> good. <laughs> Core energy, that's fine. Just don't reset stab me. Fair. I was asking for it. Oh, ho, ho. Mixed herbs, mixed herbs, mixed herbs. We did it, we did it. I don't need anything else. I think I win enough of this. I think I win enough of this. Please. <laughs> Please. One supporter. Playing one supporter, I'm gonna win this match. Playing one supporter, I'm gonna win the mirror match. One, well, I guess technically two. But the bus orders didn't matter. I played it too thin. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and I also misplayed these two damage counters. I sh it should have been there. <sighs> okay, my opponent's just not bothering with the. He's relying 100% on the confusion. Mixed herbs, blessed mixed herbs. <laughs> I have 41 cards in my deck, like how is that possible? How is that fair? How is this a fair game? How is that a fair game? How? <laughs> Playing on card mode. In, I, okay, it's like it's like in, in Mario Maker, yeah? I play PTCGO in expert mode. <laughs> Just look, my boy's just like down to eight cards in his deck. He's still digging through his deck. Whatever. Okay, that's six everyone. No, only two scoop up nets, never mind. Oh no, three. Four. Okay, so that six everyone will be my opponent's demise. He didn't bench a Dragapult, therefore. I should grab this in case I get Roxy as a top deck. And I'll play this, because it doesn't affect me, obviously. Max Phantom, okay. So I'm gonna put two damage here. And three here, I guess. Okay. 200 and I have 40 HP left. How does my opponent do 40 damage? Where I like I'm I'm I'll just wait for it. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> wait for it. Wait for it. He's down four scoop up nets. I just counted them. Yeah. One, two, three. Four. Super scoop up. Super, yeah, super scoop up, bench, bite. Fair game. Scoop up cyclone, not legal. <laughs> second six second. No, he can't. Incense. Okay, incense into Galarian uh, Line Noon into it hits for 20 for 1 or something and then I <laughs> get KO'd. The tech 1 of Galarian Line Noon. Scoop up. Super scoop up. It's the only way. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Jeez.
Play in expert mode, man. <laughs> Play in expert mode. Who needs support? I needed one supporter. Give me one supporter and I win. Give me one supporter and I win games. Jeez. What the heck? I'll definitely go first. That was great. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. Like, I know I complain a lot. Yeah? I am aware that I complain a lot. It's part of my personality. And until I start drawing a supporter, you know? <laughs> I'm gonna keep complaining until the end of time. Oh, I, I won. I won. So, two codes. Not having energy is so bad. Not having energy is just so bad. Not having energy is so bad. Okay, let me type up the codes. Please just take one. If you if you win one, please just take it. The one. Yeah. And I'll try and get the giveaway thing fixed. Alright, there's the two codes. <laughs> I, I agree. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Okay, the VMAX returns my energy, so not a touching energy is gonna be pretty annoying. Pretty, pretty annoying. Alright. Hmm? ADP Intilium VMAX. Interesting. One second. I put it in GX, he's also not gonna stop me from attaching, so that's really good. Okay, so here's something interesting. I'm gonna play the Poke Gears before the Greens. Because that lets me know that I have more freedom with the Greens, right? So just right now, I can go for a Spinner. And... And what? Spinner and incense to not discard anything. I have the treasure. I could just grab a double spinner, obviously. That also seems fine. Double spinner seems fine. Alright. John Wick the Lizard is back. I have no clue what that is. Alright, so we'll just bounce. Oh wait, why didn't I evolve? Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I'm it's my second turn. I mean, that 60 damage probably won't matter, but that was very dumb. <laughs> that was actually very dumb. Why did I not search for the dude? Gosh, Pablo, what the heck? <laughs> okay. Why do... Oh. Get punished, Pablo. Get punished. Get punished, Pablo. <laughs> no. Get super punished, Pablo. No, I've never seen John Wick movies, no. Get super punished, not get punished. Yes. Yes. Never punished. Never freaking punished. Yes. Okay, I'm not gonna do the same stupid thing again. I'm just gonna evolve to do it. James Pond. James Pond. Okay. So, Max Phantasm. And we'll do... 5 on the Intillion. And then he'll power up the other one, and that's okay. I probably should have spread them. That was bad. I probably should have just spread the energy, or the damage. I feel pretty confident at this stage, though. Because I have healing, too, and that's a pretty big deal. That turns 3 KOs into 
That turns 2 hit KOs into 3 hit KOs, whereas I'm always 2 hit KOing, as long as I put my damage in the right spots. Right? Ultimate Ray... Will he just power up the other guy? Yeah, that would make sense, right? Like, why power up the damage one? There are three movies? Oh, I've never seen the movies. I like Keanu Reeves, so... Okay. So, I think I just heal on KO. I think that's what makes the most sense. Can I win? If I put the damage on Jirachi, I actually would have been able to win next turn. Yeah, I need one Roxy to KO this guy, it's fine. It's fine. For energy, that's pretty nice. Oh, I don't even need Roxy thanks to the thing. And there's Roxy, but no Weezings. What are those emotes? <laughs> Logo. Crushing. Okay, that's fine. That is perfectly fine. That is perfectly fine. Like, my opponent is so far behind in damage output. So far behind. Yeah, if I put the 5 damage on the Jirachi, then this turn I would have put the 5 damage on the Eldegoss, and then I could have gone Chaos, I mean Bosses Orders, KO Eldegoss, KO Jirachi for 3 prizes per game. Though my opponent might not have played the Eldegoss. So I don't know. I don't know if it was like so obvious for me to do that play, you know? I'm not sure it was so, so obvious. Bosses Orders, okay. How does that... Arisk, thank you so much for the follow. Rhino Gaming, I missed that. Thank you so much for the follow. Okay. I'll do this. And then, what do I do here? I feel like I just research honestly. So now he attacks me, he goes to 200, thanks to the horror. Unless he flips his fourth hands, right? Go to sudden death, I guess. No, we don't. I needed Roxy. I needed one Roxy. I need to pull off one Roxy. I needed to pull off one Roxy. That's all I needed, and I couldn't do it. Okay, I'm not gonna lose because I'm not getting benched. I needed one Roxy. Okay, I need Stamp here then. So that we go to some death. Or I need to double that, but I get nothing. <laughs> 10 damage short. 10 damage short. Does he just have bosses orders? Wow, he says well played. Oh yeah, of course it's well played. He has the energy. He goes attached, retreats. Oh my god, I can't believe I lost to this. Uh, one Roxy, man. One Roxy, one freaking Roxy, or one Tail Slip, or one Bosses Order, man. Story. Ugh. Ugh. What the heck? All right. So one code because I lost. Only one code because I lost. All right. Alrighty.
That was a super annoying game to lose. That was a super annoying game to lose. Yeah, never both, Arcanite, never both. And my opponent just had everything every turn? That's the story of my PCGO career. <laughs> Oh my god. There's the one Roxy we needed. The one Roxy. One. Just one. <laughs> I just needed one Roxy. Oh well. Now I rely on this one Roxy to draw. Red, I am running Dragapult VMAX with a Roxy and Jane. Time to switch to VGC Ladder. Time to switch to Mario Maker. That's where the real fun is, in Mario Maker. That is actually where the real fun is, in Mario Maker. Mario Maker is the best thing ever, ever. It's so much fun, and it's so difficult too. Okay. My opponents can just quick ball away the supporters. Gonna get dunked in Mario Maker. <laughs> It was especially painful in Pokedex, I agree. Okay, well, we're pretty lucky to have this, right? So we can't complain, we're pretty lucky to have this. And I predict I'm gonna top deck a greens. And that's gonna be beautiful to watch. <laughs> well, not quite. Yeah, so this is where my opponent on the other side complains. Oh my god, I can't believe he has his one wait on T hammer on turn one. I can't believe it. Yay, energy! Yay, nothing else, but yay, energy. Uh, so I might as well thin, right? To maximize my chances. I won't bench in case I top deck Roxy. <laughs> and then I bite for 10. Imagine if I find energy, I can go boss's orders, KO, I mean, do damage here and KO this guy. That would be fantastic. Always thin. You're not a pro if you don't thin. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh my god. <laughs> the guy's just holding the saucer and the switch and the other Jiranji in hand in those four cards. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe still not yet. <sighs> Man, he took away my bite damage. That's not very nice. He took away my bite damage. Oh my god, this guy's gonna still wish until there's no tomorrow. Sharon, basically. <laughs> well, my opponent goes triple Stellar Wish, Energy Switch, Metal Saucer, Alter Green. <laughs> Sharon is busted. <laughs> this is the era of Jirachi, that is so true. Yeah, how Sharon... Uh... <laughs> Stop. Stop. No. <sighs> like, what am I gonna do here? 
hit for 60. I'm playing a theme deck, man. What the heck? The deck has been testing way better than this, I swear. <laughs> I swear. I did not build this like a theme deck on purpose. <sighs> like, why couldn't my opponent just be like, oh no, I he discard my energy. I'll go ahead and attach an Intrepid Sword. Right? <laughs> oh my god. And we're up against Sword. And we don't draw an energy on turn one. Awesome, Kunder, awesome. Good job on hunting that code quickly. <sighs> At least we have a support guy. At least we have a supporter. It's like we're going second, right? In under the old rules where my opponent plays a support here. So it's like we're going second. It's like we're playing old rules. Yeah, it, it felt uneven not to. <laughs> okay, quick ball. Is he playing the same deck he was playing yesterday? The Mr. Mime Jirachi Prison Star Station deck? No, nope, it's a mirror match. It's a mirror match where we lost all advantage of going first just here. But based on previous games, you saw that I am the uh, Dragapult mirror match master. Will he also whip energy? Will he? I don't know. He's got a daily change. Goodbye, VMAX. Hello, the Denim. Hello, the Denim here. Okay, good way to end the stream with a with a toward match, right? Dragapults, no the Dene, there's the Dene, of course there's the Dene. Oh, he's playing the crushing hammers. Hey Lily, how are you doing? Scoop up nets on the active, yep. Hasn't played a supporter yet either too. Oh boy. Well, <laughs> Thank you so much, the USB45 Master. I think I was the first Pokemon Pro player ever to really say this will be my full time job. Uh, thank you so much, Dr. Keith Talent. <laughs> it's been agonizing. Okay, we're not gonna whiff the Poke Gear though. We're not gonna whiff that Poke Gear, I hope. Really hope so. <laughs> that was supposed to be with bits. <laughs> Oopsies. Hey! A supporter, let's go. We're not gonna leave this to chance. Red, thanks so much for the 100 bits. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. Okay, so. I'm just gonna grab research, honestly, for next turn. Imagine we had attached energy turn one. Just imagine how broken this would be. Just imagine how broken this would be. <laughs> yes, before my master. I think you have to type it next to each other, maybe. Ram, we won. What did we win? Dave X Mello, what did we win? I don't know what's wrong with the bits. There you go, the USP for that master. Thank you so much for the 500 bits. That's very, very kind of you. Thank you so much. Oh, we won because we played a supporter. That's true. That is very true. I mean, to be fair, my opponent last time had one Dragapult and one Kiratina. This time, my opponent will probably have two Dragapults. So that's going to make things a little more complicated. Just a teeny tiny bit more complicated. Okay, Tord also struggling to find energies, right? He is going to draw the energy here, though. Probably a horror, too. No, not a horror, okay. 
So he gets the first hits, but I do have prizes I can pick off though. I can play towards a different win condition, which is nice, right? Because it's also down three super scoop up nets, or three scoop up nets, I thought. No, only two, okay. He's down two nets. Rip green decks, maybe. Oh. Missing the energy drop is just. It's death. Oh, nice. What? Good play there. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Andre. I'm pretty proud of that play. Alright. Alrighty. Um. I don't care much for the weaving. That's a bad topic, though, for sure. I'm just gonna research. I need... I don't need... I think healing is what's gonna put me over the edge in this match. I really think healing will be the difference maker here. Um... Okay, I'm gonna max Phantom. I'm gonna put two here and three here. I'm kind of bluffing, but I'm not bluffing. By not having bench, that means he can't target down my bench. Yeah, that is very true. The Mr. Mime in Torch deck is to prevent playing people from playing scoop up nets, right? Oh, of course he has the Marnie, man. Come on. <laughs> of course he has the Marnie. Oh my god. Can't catch a break. <laughs> well, we're catching a break with the tail slips, I guess. We had found the energy first. Oh. I agree that USP for the master. I, I'm sure Scoop of Net will eventually get banned and expanded. It's just way too easy to abuse Shaman EX with that. Maybe even Jirachi EX. Like Scoop of Net is super super broken. Why didn't I heal? Because I was trying to like play it slow. I didn't want to immediately reveal my plan. You know? I didn't want to immediately reveal my plan. Okay. The greens is a decent top deck though, that's for sure. That's for sure. It doesn't seem like Tord is playing any sort of stadiums that we can tell. And I will be picking up a prize here, so that's nice. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill the Jirachi. Okay. Like we've definitely we definitely haven't lost yet here. That's a nice card to get. Not fantastic, but it's nice. <laughs> Normax right now is insane with it. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> turn, yeah, turn two, turn two. I can imagine. I mean, maybe because you can Mega Wolf Rayquaza EX, that's better than Snorlax? So Rayquaza can get to some pretty insane numbers too, right? I wonder if Tord doesn't play any stadiums. If he doesn't play any stadiums, then that Tetene is gonna be my win condition, I think. He used. He, she abused Kubo Net on 6 second Shamaniax, and then she can attack when going first and taunt me. Oh, <laughs> yeah, there you go, Victor, yeah. That's another use of. That's another reason why Scoop of Net might. Uh, become illegal because opponents might try to or donks might be a bigger thing, you know? The consistency with Ray hurts. Yeah. Wait, why though? Like can't you just play this, the exact same engine? Oh my god, he does play stadiums. Well I think I I can still win though. I have boss disorders. I think I still win. I mentioned break. Okay, I don't care about that guy. See, like my poor man's deck is just winning here. 
So I get a knockout and then I just target down the Dene. Can he protect the Dene anyway? I don't think he can. Wow, that's just icing on the cake. That is just icing on the cake. So to that. I'm gonna grab another greens just in case I'm missing something. Right? And that way I can heal. I do have a bunch of energy priced too. Yeah, I have two energies priced. Okay, do I even need any damage on the Dene? No, I don't. I bought the Sorters and I went. So I'm gonna put it here just in case. Do I just win? You can net the Ray to heal it. Oh yeah, you can net the Ray. Yeah, I guess the extra HP definitely makes a difference. Yeah, there's pros and cons, obviously. There's pros and cons. There's pros and cons. But that's that that was my point. Like the fact that with the spirit link you can evolve and attack on turn one with Ray, that's my point. Uh, red trainer. Oh yeah, I, yeah, I could have done that. If I do that, I KO the Dene. And then I put five on the Dragapult and then I win, yeah. Yeah, red trainer, yeah. That was probably a better, a better play, yeah. That was probably a better play. Okay, am I gonna get resets down here? Is that what Torge is looking for? No, it's looking for the crushing. Yeah, oh my god. No. <laughs> ah, so I should have put the damage on the dead eh? No. <laughs> I'm just gonna get rid of the leading. I need bosses orders. That's not bosses orders. Does he just win? If I had put the damage here, I would be one Roxy or one Boss Disorders away from winning. <laughs> uh, so I should have put the damage on the Dene. He can win with Sig, but Sig is gone though. Sig is gone. I'm still dead though. Oh wait, no, I can st I win with Roxy. With Roxy, I get the damage I'm missing for this guy. I can still win. If I find Roxy or Bosses Orders, I win off of that over here. And I have all of them. <laughs> all three of each. Oh, Horror does that too, never mind. Yeah, Horror does that too. I have a Horror. He has the Giratina though, right? No, he discarded it. Yes! Yes! Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Why did we win? The energy within that attach on turn one got compensated when Tor did not flip a single head slip. Yeah? I'm pretty sure that's that evened out. Yeah, if I had attached an energy on turn one and then he had flipped the heads, the game would have been similar. The fact that I didn't have easy prizes on the bench was also good. Um putting the damage yeah, putting the damage on the Dragon Pulse ended up being good. Uh, I guess I could have put one on one. Did that matter? Probably not. Um, I don't know. Uh, the USP 45 Master, thank you so much for the bit. The bit. Um, okay, so 4 out of 4 Tails and Brushing was fortunate for me, very unfortunate for Tor, that's for sure. Yeah, It did draw a little better. Yeah, just a little better. Um, Anyways, uh, I'll be putting the two codes in the chats. Who are we hosting, though? I, you guys decide. Who are we hosting? 
who are we hosting next? Because there's a bunch of us right here. So who are we hosting next? Whilst I type the chat, I mean the code. Nine. All right, there's the two codes. Who are we hosting? Tiu Sam. Yeah, I think he's hosted us before. I think I'm gonna be hosting Tiu Sam. I think we're gonna be hosting Tiu Sam. I think we're gonna be hosting Tiu Sam, yeah. All right, so we're gonna be hosting Tiu Sam. Well, yeah. He's hosted me before, so let's host him. GG guys, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, goodbye.